Hi, I'm Nessa Carey. I'm the International Director at Praxis Unico, which is based in the UK. Hi, could you give me a quick synopsis of what you were talking about today? Yeah, I was giving pretty much the overview on what we really feel are the main barriers to innovating out of university research in the UK particularly, um, but I think a lot of themes came up that were very consistent with other speakers from other countries. Yeah, there was a lot of talk about how professors can measure impact, and you talked about um, societal intangible factors about, around research and how it's hard to measure that. So, yeah, it's a really big problem because it's very easy to measure things like I did consultancy for a company and it brought this much income into the university. It becomes much harder then to say, okay, but the impact for the company was it then generated, say, a few million extra in sales by what I did. Where it becomes even harder is to show what long-term societal impacts are. Because it might be that someone does some research which never gets commercialized in a traditional sense, but which perhaps does something like increase patient compliance with taking drugs and ultimately saves healthcare systems millions and millions of dollars, but it's enormously difficult to capture that. And so we end up risking a situation where what we capture is not actually that relevant or is not the biggest impact that some science or humanities research had, but what we capture is the bit that's easy to capture. And how important do you think it is that the British Council is organising this sort of global dialogue so we can debate these? Issues in the oh, I think it's fantastically important. We're in a global economy now, and it's unbelievably important that every economy understands what the issues are facing partner economies, where the opportunities are, and where the difficulties lie, because we tend always to assume there's just one international innovation and business culture, and it's just completely wrong. There isn't. So for any economy to thrive, it needs to thrive in global settings. So this sort of thing where we can share experience, share best practice, and actually surface out some of those areas that we don't even realise are a conflict, hugely important. And are you hopeful that the BC might go home after this session and actually change something tangibly in the way they work on campus or they clap at industry, for example? Yeah, I think that would be great. I think if there will be situations where Perhaps a VC might just engage in a different way with how their academics work with the industrial world. And also, perhaps, longer term, to be thinking about how you drive new policy and how you encourage governments to drive policy. Because governments and their subsidiaries that they use to disperse research funding, for example, are incredibly important in how they influence the way this process happens. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.